The next thing is gonna do, I'm going to, <laughs> excuse me. Today's video is just going to be a demonstration of sterile gloving. Um, so the first step is finding a pair of gloves um, that are your size, finding your right size. So for this one is the Nitiri Derm Nitro Powder Free Surgical Gloves. They come in sizes 6 all the way to 9. So it's just by trial and error, you'll figure out which size is for you. Um, my lab kit for school came with a 7.5, so that's the size I'm going to use. You're also going to want to perform hand hygiene. So, you know, hand washing is very optimal, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to be using Purell and just make sure I get it all in there. And then after performing my hand hygiene, I can begin with my glove application. So we're going to open up this package and then within it, this is all still um, not sterile until you actually get within this packaging. So you're going to open it up and it has a right and a left side, go ahead and come closer, and a one inch border that's all the way around including here. So you are able to touch this one inch border from the inside to open up the packaging. But once the packaging is open, we cannot touch the inside of the glove where the glove is within that border or else it's now going to become contaminated so i'm going to go ahead and get my fingers up and in and you pull away and you're just trying to get it nice and open so it can stay on that table and you're able to touch all the way on the perimeter perfect so then once you open it, you'll see that there's a right and a left side. Generally, you want to do this at a waist length or higher, but this is the only table I have. So I've identified the right and left side, and with your non-dominant hand, I'm right-handed, so my non-dominant hand is my left. I'm going to grasp the inside edge of the cup with my fingers and kind of just pick up underneath it. So now I can use this hand to fish through. So I'm going to go ahead and go in and just make sure that it goes straight on and not to touch anything else. So now this is my sterile dominant hand. So with the glove dominant hand, we're going to slip these fingers underneath the second cup. So we're going to repeat by going underneath and doing the same thing. So now there's an opening. I'm going to go ahead and kind of cup my fingers and slide it through. Now I have an Apple Watch on, most likely would, I could take that off um, or just go over it. But you know, with watches and stuff like that, you risk contamination. So it's probably best to make sure that you go nice and over that watch. So now both of them are sterile and it says the next step is to pull the glove over the non-dominant hand, which I've done, and to ensure proper fit, you can interlock fingers. Um, so it does fit well and you want to just make sure to maintain sterility. So with sterile gloves, um, you want to make sure that you don't touch the outside border because remember um, I had clean hands, um, meaning clean as if they were Purell, but they were not sterile. So you don't want to touch the outside border. And another thing you won't, don't want to do is put your hands below your waist. So you want to always um, keep it above because below the waist is considered dirty or contaminated. So now we're going to go ahead and move on to the glove removal. So it says grasp the outside of one cuff with the other hand, other gloved hand without touching the wrist. So basically the opposite. So you're going to go ahead and pull off using that cuff. And then it says pulls glove off and turning it inside out and placing it in the palms of the hands. The next thing is going to do, I'm going to, <laughs> excuse me. The next thing I'm going to do is slide my fingers underneath the gloved hand and go ahead and just pull that off. So this is still within that 
clean underneath. And then there you go. You're able to discard. You can put it in here. Basically discard of all of that in the trash. And you always want to make sure that you perform hand hygiene after. Washing the hands, again, is most ideal and the best um, infection control practice. But for this, the purpose of this video, I am using Purell. So that's basically the sterile gloving technique, um, how to apply and remove it. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great rest of your day. Stay positive, work hard, and make it happen. Bye, y'all.